All right, back nine here at Scarborough on the hunt for 900. Let's get to it. Spin it. All right, DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and this is the back nine of Scarborough, uh, Scarborough Hills Disc Golf, short to short, chasing 900. If you haven't seen the front nine, go back and watch that now, or you're going to get spoiled. I'll link it up here. It'll be in the description below. Watch the front nine, then come back here so I don't spoil you. Or as Hunter says, there's no being spoiled in a lot of sports, so let's go. I'm two under right now. The line to beat is two over, that's 904 rated. All right, so a little uh, while editing commentary. This is the first time I've ever done this, but I need to explain a little bit here. Uh, I was informed through a comment from my last uh, video, the front nine of, of this um, round, that the Scarborough Scorcher, they played the 20 hole loop uh, for the shorts for round one. So if you don't know Scarborough, it has two extra holes, X1 and X2, uh, which makes it a 20 hole loop and they played all 20 holes. So that's why a 56 was 900 rated because the two extra holes makes par 60. Uh, so which means that a four under would then be 900 rated. And in fact, if you go uh, through then, um, 51 i think a 51 for 18 is a 900 rated round for scarborough shorts so that would be three under um so i'm just telling you this because you can ignore the line that i set in this video and then the last video and you'll see um the score um the score tally at the bottom will reflect three under and not two over um so and uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again shortly uh, at the end of this video. So I'll talk to you then. So I will, I'm chasing 950 on this one. But, I mean, Scarborough shorts, I play this course all the time. So I better be over 900 here. Uh, but it was a course on my list, so I needed to check it off. So let's get to it. Hole number 10 here, 219 feet straight out in the open. I'm going to throw my BB6, start it to the right, let it fade to the left. Hopefully start off nice here. Get your line. Ooh, trip over the padding. <laughs> oh, I didn't turn that over enough. That's great distance. Did not turn it over enough. Beautiful distance. Long putt. Let's go. All right, so here's another one where if you're playing with a tournament mindset, every stroke matters, falls off to a good deal beyond the basket. So in a tournament where I'm worried about strokes, I'm not running this. Like, I might run this on a casual round. I would run this on a casual round, but not here because I'm playing tournament-minded. So I want to get up for the par and take the par and move on. We won't, we won't bore you with that tap in. Let, I'll see you at 11. All right, 207 foot par four. It's, there's a big tree with a broken part going to the right. It's just beyond that. I need to take this left route. Oh, there's a tree falling that wasn't there last time. That's weird. So I need to take this left route. Actually, that makes that opens that gap up a little more. Huh. Uh, all the easy birdies are gone, uh, with exception of one. 16 is pretty easy ish but uh, all the easy birdies are on the front 10 the back uh, eight pars and if it bites you you can bogey back here you got to be careful so especially 14 14 gets me a lot so anyway hole 11 201 feet up and to the right hyzer with my midi yeah it's uphill or i'd be throwing a putter here like robbie says disc up and get it to the basket Get out. Yeah, that should be close. I may be out right. Sorry. I may be right outside the circle there. 
What do you know? I was right. Circle's edge. I may not be outside. I think I'm inside. Circle's edge here. Nope. Too far. All right. Coming at you. It's right below the camera here. You'll see me tap out. And then we'll move on to hole 12. All right. Hole number 12. Still two down. Let's go. All right, hole number 12. I always forget the tee box sign is up at the long pads and not down at the shorts. They don't have a tee box sign or a, or a graph a graphic here. So I always forget, and I never know how long this hole is. Now I know it's 300 feet exactly, which I thought it was shorter than that. Sorry about the sun. It's terrible. I can't even see the basket. It's right up there, right in the inside of the woods. 300 feet, a little downhill, maybe like 20 feet downhill. Let's throw my mockingbird here. Yeah, I'm not throwing a mockingbird. Started to the right, let it drift left. Whew, that sun's brutal. Throw it right there. Oh, turned it over too much. All right, really long putt. Okay, let's go. All right, I'm really short here too, which is weird. I think I'm just afraid to turn over because it's so understable. So maybe I have the I have the opening over here. I should just throw something over stable out to the left here and let it come crashing back to the right so I can, you know, beef up on it. I'm just, I baby the mockingbird because I'm afraid I'm going to turn it over too much. So a little jump putt here. Let's see what happens. It's <laughs> all right. We made a run at it. Didn't leave it short. Never leave it short. Let's go up and tap that in for par. It's a little farther than I <laughs> anticipated. I mean, I should make this, but you know, it's not like a tap in, tap in. So there we go. Sorry, got distracted by a squirrel over there, I think. All right, par on 13, oh, par on 12, let's go to 13. All right, hole 13, 206 feet through this tiny gap to the left. I can see the basket from here. You probably can't see it from there. But it's, it's over in here somewhere, straight that way. Um, so I need to forehand something, hyzer it around. This tee box is really high, so. But I forgot, my wife got me the really tall telescoping uh, tripod. So I keep forgetting I have another tier I can use because I'm not used to it. So thanks, hon. She's the best. This tripod is fantastic. So here we go. Forehand the midi. <laughs> Narrow, maybe 10-foot gap, like... 50 feet off the tee pad. So that's that's what you got to deal with. If I get through that, I'm in good shape. Turned it over. Wow. I never turned that over. That's weird. Okay. Well, let's go get it. All right. Well, again, this is one of those holes on the back that, you, that they can just get you. So uh, you can probably see my disc. I'm over here. My disc is right here. Uh, you see the basket straight ahead, hopefully. Now I gotta see what I need to do. Like I have a, I have a backhand turnover route where I can here and hopefully, but I don't like that at all. If I go way left, I have nothing. <laughs> So I'm going to sort of put my foot here, lean back, get something understable, probably my BB-6 here. Hopefully you can see this come out and go up near the basket. All right, long of the basket, but let's go see what we have. That might be another bogey. Uh-oh, not a good day. Let's see where we landed. Oh, here we are. I'm oh, not too bad. You got a shot at it. Should I putt with my BB-6 or come back and get my putter? Putt with my BB-6. Ah, a little long. All right, we'll tap that in for the bogey. Oh, uh, one under. Go on to 14. We need to make up some ground. 
I'm, I, I think I'm playing two lakhs a day as a goal because I, I, I feel like 900 is in the bag. So I'm not, I don't think I'm pushing myself. But again, this is the third round in a row where I'm not playing nearly the, the best golf that I can. I know that I'm better than this and I'll be over 900. So maybe that's a good thing. I, I don't know. I do need to buckle down. I need to buckle down and start doing better. <laughs> start being more disciplined. So let's go. All right, hole number 14, 288 feet, way, way downhill. This is one where you have, to, and the tee box also slopes downhill. Um, this is one where you just need to get it out there, trust it, just put it out and let it glide. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in your way. I have my mindset, get as far down as possible. Uh, and that's the only thing I'm thinking here. So right through this gap here, let it ride down as far as I can. Okay, little tree direction there. Not awful. We should be able to get up and down from there. It's not bad. All right, I spoke too soon. Like I can get it there, but it's not a gimme. So I gotta hit this gap right here. I can do it. Or not. Wow, I just really held on to that. <laughs> All right. Up and down for the bogey now. All right, this is another one of those where it's just really hard to appreciate how downhill this is. I really want to just... I'm just going to skip it up to the left here and hopefully it just skips down to the right. Yep, just like that. Take my bogey, take my medicine. We're back to par. Oof, ugly. But we'll get it. Let's go. Honestly, I don't know. I don't remember the last time I, it was that I had three bogeys at this course. It's just one of those courses where I, I, I feel like if I'm not like three or four under, I've epically failed. So I think I finished the last time I played here at par, even par. Uh, and then now I'm at even par again. I have four holes left to rectify the situation. I need to finish under par here. So time to get on the train, get on the horse, get on the magic carpet, whatever it is, and get this done. All right. I'm going to spot down here because I'm sure I'm going to be cut off if I don't. So hole number 15. Not a great hole, massively uphill, 200 feet, but plays like 300 because it's so uphill. I throw my lariat here and just try to get something high up in the air and lace it straight. So let's see if we can do it. <sighs> get around. Okay, not awful. Let's go up and get it. We were talking about this hole the other day. This is the only hole in this course that I have not birdied. Time for a throw-in? Nope, time for a par. All right, there it is. Drop it in. Still even. On to 16. All right, so if you haven't seen this hole before, I'm setting you on the long pad. Short pad is right there. That's what I'm going to be throwing from. What is that, like 185 feet, something like that. Pin is straight ahead. The more open shot is here, <laughs> believe it or not. The long, the long tee pad on 16 is easier to play. 16 has so much in, it, in, in, in your way. But we're going to play the Benny. You won't see me. Hopefully, you'll see my disc. Play the Benny. Get out there. See if we can get that. This is the last good birdie chance we have. And really, it's not a good birdie chance. But it's the best you have on the back, really. Get down. Hit something. 
Okay, we might have like a 30 footer from there. Let's go get it. Something tells me I threw this way too long. All right, here we are. I'm gonna place my mini, clear the stuff that's behind my lie. A lot of thorns. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can get this. Uh, probably 35 footer here. Ah, so close. That ah, was tough. I had to get around this little tree. Oh, uh, okay. Do a par. Still on over pace for 900. But, uh, not the best round here. Just for reference, for those of you who haven't been watching me for very long, my record here is 8 under. So, <laughs> I've done it twice. So, I'm usually around 4 under. So, being even par is kind of tough to swallow right now. But, two holes left. Let's see if we can get both of them. Let's go. All right, 286 feet downhill, down there and to the right. I don't know if you can see the basket through those trees or not. I am going to throw my bon uh, blue bonnet here. Hopefully I'm in frame, sorry. I'm gonna throw my blue bonnet here. Probably not enough disc, but I don't know. I just wanna get something straight down and then hooks up at the end, and that's what this does. So let's see what we can do. That's really high. Oh, oh, double hit. Let's see what it, let's see where it went. Uh. All right, y'all. I don't have a shot here. Just saw Corey Sargent. He's right up there. Me and him got to get around in soon. All right. Just going to flick something up there. I might try to give this a small run here. Ah, too high. All right, I should be able to get out, straddle out, and get the par for that. All right, let's just straddle out, get this par, move on to 18. All right, there we go. Going into 18 at even par. Yuck. Not a great day, but you know what? Corey, remind me. It's a gorgeous day out. Disc golf is so much fun. Let's just have fun playing. All right, last hole. We're at even. 204 feet straight out. Let's see if we can get one under. Just need to throw my Benny, have it drift a little to the left, and finish right. I am not trusting my throw. Not trusting it at all. Falling off. Busy day here at Scarborough, man. Nice day. All right. Forehand. Let's see if we can get it. Hmm. Not great. Not bad. Let's go finish this out. Alrighty, left myself with a tester for par. <laughs> Let's go. This is the way you need to end it. You need to hit par. Here we go. Well. That's just how this day went. All right, right over here, we'll just tap this in. Well, there you have it. Not one of my best days. Again, one over. I don't know the last time I've shot one over here at Scarborough. I'll have to go back and look at that, but 904 plus 12, 916 right around, which blows my mind. I don't know why a one over at shorts on Scarborough would be a 916 right around. Again, because it wasn't a 916 rated round. So uh, I think if I figured it out correctly, it was actually a 952 or 852 rated round. So I was. Um, 
yeah, I missed the mark on this one. So uh, I do have to redo it. Uh, I had played Scarborough Longs after this. That's still on the editing uh, floor. Uh, I'm going to scrap that one. Uh, I need to go back to Schwartz and hit 900 there first, and then we'll redo Scarborough Longs after that. So let's get back to past me in the future. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to do Scarborough Shorts again. I'll see you soon. The takeaway is I can play better. <laughs> and I'm still shooting over 900 rated golf. So uh, take it for what it is. We'll get better. I'm um, working at home. I'll have some stuff coming out uh, not too long from now from my form work. Um, there's a lot that I'm working on right now. And it could be messing with my head when I'm on the tee box. So, but again, it is think while you practice and do while you play right and that's just what i gotta start doing and i'm doing a lot a lot of thinking too much thinking when i'm on the tee pad and not a lot of letting my body just do what it needs to do so thanks for coming along until next time enjoy the journey here's your verse of the day